welcome back everybody welcome back so today I am going to be doing a video that is going to be uploaded to two of my platforms um, many of you that are new to this channel don't know that I actually have two channels so this is my primary Mary channel living life by design and I also have a channel by the name of Sep love TV and that's got a small following on it but that channel is basically just all about self-love how we love ourselves why it's important to love ourselves so if that's something that interests you there will be a link in the description bar there's probably uh, about 50 videos over there that you can check out talking about different subjects experiences pain that we've experienced how we have learned to love ourselves what that means how you do that on a physical level emotional level or spiritual level so if that's something that you like please make sure you subscribe to the channel but this video today I am going to share to both channels because I think it's something that will be beneficial and I think it really actually will resonate with both audiences so I'm going to be taking uh, a mini vacation on next week four-day trip it's time I got to get away it's going to be a girls trip with my bestie and yeah, so this week is the only week that I really have to get videos uploaded. I did record a video last weekend, this past weekend, but I did not get it up because I've been just extremely busy. And it's a uh, podcast video. Uh, a lot of you all don't know that I do have a podcast on Spotify. So I will have a link to that as well if you want to join the podcast family. I do have some people that do follow that that are followers here on the channel. Uh, I also do upload some of the podcasts here. So the format over on Spotify changed. So it was some things I had to learn how to do. It's a little different format. I'm not really happy with it, but, you know, got to make it work because I got to keep the podcast going. So I've been dealing with that, trying to get that um, situated. So I am going to upload the the actual video of the podcast. But So it's going to be a podcast video. And uh, that'll be after this video. This one will go up first, even though that was recorded first. So I know it don't make sense, but, you know, stay with me. <laughs> so anyway, I will be leaving next week to um, take my trip with my bestie. And I actually will be um, vlogging that video. I want to show how, you know, we live life, how we enjoy life, how we are thankful for life and just navigating that. I have some big decisions to make uh, this year. I'm looking at retirement perhaps at the end of the year I'm uh, thinking of traveling abroad and staying uh, uh, for a extended period of time I'm looking at getting a van and or camper of some sort and driving around the country I got a lot of things I need to weigh and see what best suits my lifestyle so y'all just be in prayer for me as I make decisions on what I'm going to do with the changes that are coming after I do my semi-retirement, okay? So today, I ran across this. I'm trying to think. Um, somebody shared this with me, and it's just some wisdom. Wisdom that I want to share. I'm that type of person. I'm like a, a sponge. I absorb knowledge and, you know, profound statements or messages. And whenever somebody sends me something that just resonates with my spirit, I want to share it. So these are like just positive thoughts for life and also I'm going to be sharing um, some things that Charlie Chapman said he died at the age of 88 and I'm going to be giving you the six best doctors in the world but I'm going to share these positive statements with you and I hope this is something that will bless your life and yeah let it resonate with you just sit with it for a little while all right the first one is nothing in Nothing is eternal in this world, not even your problems in this world. Nothing is eternal. Wow. How true is that? I like to walk in the rain because no one can see my tears. The most wasted day in life is the day we don't laugh. Wow. Wow. If you see the moon, you will see the beauty of God. If you see the sun, you will see the power of God. If you look in the mirror, 
you will see God's best creation. Huh. Believe it then. We are all tourists. God is our travel agent who already made our itineraries, bookings, and destinations. Trust him and enjoy life. Life is just a journey. Live today. So no matter how old you are, it's important that you live. Live today. Stop waiting to live. First of all, we don't even know how much time we're going to have. So it's important that if you have time now, live today. So in saying that, what are you waiting to do? What are some of the things you're waiting to do? I know a lot of us have circumstances and situations in our life that kind of, you know, stop us from being able to fully, you know, embrace what we want to do and jump right into it. But what are the steps that you can get, you can do now to get to that? What are some things you can be doing now to prepare for that? That is also preparing yourself for what you want to do in your life. So, and then I want to share the six best doctors in the world. Number one is sunshine. Number two is rest. Number three is exercise. Number four is diet. Number five is self-esteem. And number six is friends. Keep them in all stages of your life and enjoy a healthy life. And I think this is so profound because oftentimes we feel that we really have to seek, you know, doctors for everything. And if you apply these things to your life, get outside, stop being so connected to um, the news and social media. As you guys can see, I have been spending a lot of time away from social media because I realized that being 60 plus years old, that life is short and I got to live and I can't live in this screen all the time. This is a way for me to share things with people that I care about and women of the world who I feel that need it and who want to share and build a sisterhood. But I got to live life as well. Resting is one of the most important things you can do for yourself. A lot of times when people are ill and they seek out medical attention and help, one of the things they learn most in life is that they don't rest enough. And resting does not always have to be in the form of sleep. It can merely means being still, which I show I share with you guys for my birthday. Just being still. Not planning a whole lot of stuff, but just allowing yourself to sit with yourself, with your thoughts. Let your body relax and not be in motion all the time. Although motion is important. Exercise, which is the next one. You have to do some form of exercise in order for this machine to keep going. It's just like your car. Think about your car. If you never tuned it up, if you never changed the oil or the filters or put air in the tires or even turned it on, what would happen? It would rust. It would break down. It would stop running. It start leaking. Just like that. Compare that to your body. You got to do something with it. You got to move it. You got to feed it. You got to put, you know, something nutrient, some great nutrients inside of it. And that's the next one, which is diet. I love junk food. I'm a chip fanatic. But I do realize that chips have so much sodium and it's just not good for me. So I have to learn to find alternative snacks that <laughs> don't have so much sodium and that I can enjoy. And it's like a commitment I have to make. So improve your diet. Self-esteem. It's so important to build your self-esteem. And you can only do that by stepping to the, into the fear of whatever it is that you're ashamed of or afraid of. Or, you know, 
Um, you don't want others to know. That was one of the ways that I embraced who I was, was by allowing myself to do those things that I most I was most fearful of. And that was getting out there, allowing people to see me at my most vulnerable. Whether they said anything crazy, judged me, didn't like it, I allowed them to see me in my most vulnerable state. And that boosted my self-esteem. But I allowed myself to do that. I, I get on social media sometimes. I dance. I have posted videos of that. Posted videos of me singing, knowing that everybody's not going to appreciate or get what you're doing because I love to make people smile and make people happy. And so, therefore, it may not be the best, but if it makes you just crack a smile or feel better in that moment, it was all worth it for me. So, those are all self-esteem boosters by allowing yourself to be naturally who you are. And the last one is friends. We often feel that it's okay to, you know, take this journey alone. But friends are important. It's important to have someone that you can share some things with in life. We weren't meant to be here alone. So if it's only one person, that's good. It could be a sibling. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that don't share your bloodline. But on the flip side of that, it can be someone that don't sh share your same bloodline. But have somebody in your life that you can do things with and share a life with and confide in and depend on and cry with and love on. It's important to have that. These are all things that can boost your life, the longevity of it. Sadness and depression can kill you. People die of a broken heart. So you have to find ways to boost your spirits and get you out of those funks. If it's just getting out and watching other people enjoy life, sometimes just seeing things. I watch videos sometimes and it makes me smile to see people having a great time sharing life with family and children and grandchildren and you know, just out in nature or listen to music and just enjoying that music. Yeah. So I hope that some of these thoughts that I'm sharing with you will make you sit with yourself and think about what can I do to keep living now? We're getting old, guys. <laughs> We're getting older. And I it just resonates with me now that I wasted so much time procrastinating on things that I wanted to do and spending money frivolously and can't look back. What can I do now going forward to make the rest of my life the best of my life? So with God Almighty. I got this. I can do this. So just want to share my thoughts with you guys. So I have another video, as I stated, coming. Um, be looking for that. Probably coming up somewhere around the weekend or after the weekend. You'll probably be watching that. Hopefully i get this up by Friday. And yeah, stay tuned for the vlog. It's going to be a great time. So I'll see you all in the next video. If you are joining me from Self Love TV, thank you, ladies. Thank you, gentlemen, for watching. And if you're joining me from Lid Lydia's Life, look, living life by design. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me here. And I just love you all. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Keep me trending. Keep me trending. Keep me trending. Keep me trending. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.